Airbus, Boeing Jets, MTV and Marvel. These are all American products and they remind us to admire America on a daily basis. What if an Indian product was to weave this magic? What if a person was reminded of India every time she turned to her phone or got into her car? What if an Indian navigation system were to guide Uber and Lyft drivers around the world? What if the world were to replace GPS with Navic? Navigation with Indian Constellation. Hello and welcome to Gravitas Plus. I'm Palki Sharma Upadhyay. Have you heard of Navic? It is India's very own GPS. Now what's a GPS? It's a satellite-based navigation system. Its full form is Global Positioning System. GPS is operated by the United States. It's Space Force, to be specific. GPS helps to determine the position of an establishment, say an Indian restaurant. GPS will tell you where it's located. It will help you navigate to that Indian restaurant. It will also tell you the time it will take for you to get to that Indian restaurant. While also showing you other restaurants close by. Now, Navic can do all of the above. It can locate, navigate, track, map and time. Like GPS, Navic 2 uses satellites, eight of them. Navic is made in India and made by Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO. The story goes back to 1999. In May that year, India went to war with Pakistan. Enemy troops had infiltrated into India and had captured Kargil. The task before India was to regain its territory. But the terrain was tough and the battleground was in high altitude. It is said that India asked the US for GPS data. This data would have helped India with vital information, but the US refused. India went on to win the war nonetheless, but New Delhi remembered that snub. It then turned to the European Union. The EU was building its own satellite-based navigation system. And India offered to collaborate. An agreement was reached in 2005, but soon India decided to pull out. New Delhi had security concerns, mostly because China was also involved in the EU's project. So India decided to go it alone. The first satellite was sent into orbit in 2013. Today, there are eight satellites. They function as India's eyes in the sky. Today, Navic helps with navigation, be it on land, sea or air. It helps in disaster management, vehicle tracking, mapping. It gives users precise map coordinates, precise timing. Like I was saying, Navic can do everything that GPS does and do it better. GPS has 55 satellites. All are geosynchronous. Navic has eight satellites. Four are geosynchronous and four are geostationary. And all of these satellites are placed in higher orbits compared to GPS, meaning Navic satellites have lesser chances of being obstructed. While GPS uses a single frequency, Navic uses dual frequency bands, the L5 band and the S band. And this makes Navic more reliable and accurate, especially in urban locations. But unlike GPS, which covers all countries, almost all countries, Navic currently covers only India and areas within 1,500 kilometers from the Indian border. In other words, Navic's reach is regional. GPS is global. But here too, India is catching up. The plan is to increase the number of satellites to 11 and expand Navic's coverage. So far, India has spent nearly $189 million to develop Navic. But has India done enough to harness Navic's potential? Why is it that people barely know about Navic? Why is it that India still relies on GPS despite having its own indigenous satellite navigation system? You see, a lot changed after the Nirbhaya case verdict. It mandated the installation of vehicle tracking systems and panic buttons in all commercial vehicles. In April 2019, India made Navic-based trackers mandatory, that is, on all commercial vehicles. Soon, phone companies began launching handsets with Navic support. Today, the list includes Realme, IQO and Redmi. Now here's a thought. Can India make Navic mandatory on all phones? You know, just like an Apple iPhone has some inbuilt apps. Android has its own inbuilt apps. Can all phones launched in India have an inbuilt Navic map? India should do all it can to back Navic. It is, after all, emblematic of Make in India. It has the potential to become India's soft power tool to position India as a leader in technology, a global hub for electronic system design. India can pitch Navic as an alternative to GPS. You see, there's no treaty mandating uninterrupted GPS. The US is free to take down the service whenever it wants. When Russia invaded Ukraine, US tech giant Google temporarily turned off live traffic updates in Ukraine. 
Russia then jammed GPS signals in Ukraine, meaning GPS is not just unreliable, it is also easy to jam. What's worse, GPS can be hacked. And it's happened multiple times. In 2016, for example, a Cathay Pacific flight from Hong Kong to Manila lost GPS guidance just as it was about to land. The pilots had to land without any on-ground assistance. The ATC, air traffic control, told them to use their eyes and manage with whatever they could see from the cockpit. There have been multiple such instances, many resulting in near crashes. It's not that tough to hack slash jam a GPS signal. Hackers just need to drown the signal by creating meaningless noise. India can pitch Navik as a more foolproof option. It can start with the neighbors. Navik already covers Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh. Cab drivers in these countries can use Navik. Food delivery partners can use Navik. Even the armed forces in these countries can use Navik. You see, many military weapons need satellite navigation, especially the likes of guided missiles and bombs. Militaries in South Asia can choose to navigate with Indian constellation. While China tries to expand itself in this region, India's Navik can help with regional monitoring. It can be India's contribution to a balanced regional order, the provider of security. India should do all it can to endorse Navik encourage the use of Navic. Only a handful of countries have such a system or a GPS alternative. The European Union has Galileo, Russia has GLONASS, China has Beidou, Japan has QZSS, which stands for Quasi Zenith Satellite System. And the United States, of course, has GPS. But like we established, GPS, like America, is not reliable. Russia's GPS alternative will have security concerns. So will China's Beidou. India is equipped to fill this vacuum. Navik can be India's big export as India navigates itself to a position of global leadership.